I will introduce you one of the function that we have in CA it's called CA workflow. And um, what does it do? And basically what CA workflow do is that it executes a series of CA scripts in sequence. So whenever you feel like you're doing a robot job, you probably should ask a robot to do that job. And now we want to know how can we talk to this robot? So before you were talking to the script through the um, graphical user interface or we call it the dashboard, that is what you see on the right. And the standard process that you do is you will select a script, you will update the input parameters in, in that script of that script, and then you will execute the script. And the other way you could do it is to do it through our command line interface, we call it the CA console. And here I will show you examples. So um, if you want to do, if you want to execute a script in CA console, you will also select, you will initiate your uh, statement with CA. You will select the script by entering the script name, and then you will update the input parameters by entering the, the additional option, and then you press enter to execute the script. So if you want to know what are the uh, script names that is available, you could just type CA dash dash help, then you will see all the available uh, scripts that is that could be uh, called through this command line interface. And if you do the help for the script itself, then it will show you all the options that you could modify. So let me take an example for the schedule maker. So this is what you will see if you go to the schedule makers on the uh, dashboard. So here you have some parameters that you could change and you could choose choose what kind of schedule models you want to use here. And you could basically do the same thing on the, on the CA console. So, so here you could see what I have done is that I call for the help for the schedule makers, which shows me the options that I could change for the schedule makers, which is corresponding to the parameters here. So these are all the default, default options that is already being selected to you. And then right now I'm interested in changing the type of models I'm using. So I will be typing uh, CEA, the script is schedule maker, and the option is that I want to change the schedule model into stochastic. So we want to lock down the, lock down the instructions to this robot, follows the same logic, where you could tell them which script you want to execute, and then you, you modify the parameters in, in here. Uh, I will do a demonstration on how to write this YAML file and then how to let the robot to execute the things I tell him inside this YAML file. This is a test. And now what I want to do is to follow exactly the same structure in this YAML file. So with the script I want to write is script is the schedule maker and then I will input the parameter which parameters which is the um, schedule model So right now I have a, I have set up a YAML file and I will ask, I will use the CA workflow tool to tell the robots that it has to go find this instruction and then perform whatever I tell them to do. So the, the syntax works like this. We do CA workflow. This is the script. See your workflow, but I'm not so sure what is the exact format of the inputs in of the workflow. So I will do CA help workflow. Now I know what are the options that I have, and here the options that most important is to point to this file that I just created. So this is this could be done by modifying the workflow parameters. So I will do CA workflow workflow to this uh, directory where I save the test 
inside YAML. And then it should be executing. So this is just recap on what I did. I execute the workflow by pointing to the YAML file that I created. From the simple example, you could also expand it pretty extensively to simulate the energy demand. And uh, of course, the first step to create scenario is not so easy to automate. So that part you probably have to do it yourself. But all the other step is possible to do it through um, through the workflow. Yeah. So here is an example file that I set up. So you can see that here default I pointed first to a scenarios that I have already created, either from the dashboard or from your own shape file. And then the step two is to call the archetype mappers. Step three is call the data initializer. Step four, call the weather helper and then run the radiation as well as the schedule makers and the demand. On the GitHub repository, basically here, you will also find more examples in the CA workflow folders. And other examples of how you will use a workflow is that you want to create multiple scenarios. For example, you have one district and you want to know what is their different climate scenarios. And, or you have one district, you want to run it with the different types of schedules, or you have one district, you want to run them in several locations. So here I will have a last examples on this. I have a project with two scenarios. One is the baseline and one is in the year 2030, where I have the project created. And then I have all the inputs that is collected except the weather file, because I want to know uh, what is the different weather scenarios in for this district. What I'm doing is that I will first simulate the scenario for the baseline. Here I pointed to the directory where I have the baseline uh, saved. And then I will update uh, the weather file for the baseline. I have the uh, average of the past 20 years. And then I could run the radiation and then finally get the demand. And for 2030, I will be going to the same project folder, but then I will point to a 2030 scenario folder. And then for this, I want the weather to, to I want to simulate the weather that happens in 2030. The robot has started to work. So we have um, update the weather file for the baseline. And also we started the radiation script. And then this will continue.